What happens when the engine fails in a helicopter? Is it all Hollywood, stop operators plummeting out of the sky in explosions? Well, no. Fortunately, reality is far less dramatic. In a single engine helicopter, if the engine stops, the pilot first has to reduce the collective lever. This reduces the pitch angle on the blades, reduces the drag, and allows the rotor blades to continue to spin. The rotors then act in a similar manner to a sycamore leaf, where the flow of air coming up from below the helicopter still produces lift, and allows the pilot to safely manoeuvre the helicopter for landing. All the controls still work the same, the only difference is the helicopter is descending. Depending on the conditions, the design and the weight of the helicopter, this rate of descent is usually around 2,000 feet per minute, and it equates to a glide ratio of about 4 to 1. Now, that's a lot steeper than even a jumbo jet, which is about 15 to 1. The pilot can adjust the forward speed in the rotor RPM to either maximise the glide distance to stretch the flight path to make a safe landing site, or to maximise the time in the air. Just before landing, the pilot starts a nose-up flare, slowing the helicopter but using the kinetic energy stored in the rotation of the blades to then be able to increase the blade pitch, thus reducing the rate of descent and touchdown relatively smoothly. But you only get one shot at this, so timing the manoeuvre is everything.